Okay, ladies and gents, here I am. Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna talk about a couple little things and um, go from there. So I have a question for New York, the, the, the uh, institutions there. One thing that I've been thinking about, and maybe someone can answer this, with all that is going on in the ballet world, but in America, let's say, who is the most influential living ballet legend in America? Mikhail Barishnikov, right? And why have we not heard anything from him, right? I mean, everybody in New York Ballet is, you know, uh, donate to this and to this relief fund and asking for money and putting videos out and talking and, and so on and so forth, right? So in Russia, the legends there, Vladimir Vasiliev, Mikhail Lavrovsky, all guys I know, they've made statements of support publicly. What did the New York institutions do to Barishnikov that he is nowhere to be found, right? And of course, I, I relate to him in this way. I, I feel the same way. There's nothing, you know, I was never so happy to leave a place, frankly. Um, not the place itself, but that particular community, the ballet community. So I'm with him in a bunker somewhere going, I don't know about all that. I'm just going to do what I can do. You know, I think he's had some, um, I haven't looked into this deeply, but I think he's had some, some projects and some um, initiatives in his home country of Latvia, their ballet school and that kind of thing, where he began. I don't even think he has much interaction with Russian ballet at this point, maybe none, you know. But New York, where, you know, he became world famous, unless I'm mistaken, nothing, not a word. What was done to him that would, that even in a global pandemic, he's hands off, right? And I don't blame him at all is what I'm saying. I, I completely understand, uh, not completely, okay, I don't know him, but I know basically what went on and, you know, and I know the experience I had and I had a very, very short experience compared to what he had. The man directed ABT for, what, 10 years? Not only didn't make any money, he donated his time, and he donated money, right? This, this is in the New York Times, this is open knowledge, right? What was done, of course I know, but I'm just saying, maybe somebody from one of the institutions can explain it to all of us. What was done to that man that he is not interested in supporting the New York ballet institutions at all? And, and I think it's been decades without that, right? Hmm. Now, I'm happy to be corrected if I'm wrong about that, because uh, again, I haven't looked deeply into it, but it just seems like, what's the one voice that's missing that you'd, that if you didn't understand the way ballet is, you'd expect to hear from this person, right? Because his name and his voice is very powerful in ballet. It's, it's, I don't know if there's a more meaningful person to listen to. You know, the few interviews he gives and the, and the few, he gave uh, a speech or two here and there at universities and he's a brilliant person. You know, he's a brilliant person. He's very, very wise and really knowledgeable about ballet, obviously. Uh, what's interesting about him, really interesting, is way back when, he, he just came right out and said, look, I'm not a teacher and I'm not a choreographer because he knows what those professions are. Obviously they're ballet, but it's not the same as being a dancer. And he, of course, he understood all that. It was just open about it, right? You don't see him jumping on Zoom and trying to teach a, a ballet class, do you? Because he knows what it is and what it isn't. And he knows that it isn't there, obviously. So I wonder about that, you know? So I don't know if there's somebody in the, that, in the New York institutions that can explain to all of us why they don't have his support after him spending so many years of his life and in his prime performing and, and supporting these institutions in the 80s and then nothing after that. Like there was some kind of abrupt break. So I don't know, it'd be interesting to know, wouldn't it?